was the oldest black church in Birmingham, and it was fairly large. And so it made sense that meetings would happen there, uh, which would also make it a target. On Sunday morning, September 15th, it was youth day, right after Sunday school. Addie Mae Collins, Carol Robinson, Denise McNair, and Cynthia Wesley are getting ready uh, to go into the choir. I remember Ad, I was closest to Addie. We would go to church picnics. Ad and I just gravitated to each other. Cynthia Wesley was a friend of mine. She was at my school, she was a ninth grader. Just started in September, and I was an 11th grader. I remember Denise back there always smiling and she was the only child, and I remember Carol Robinson being quiet. And she played in the orchestra at her school. Addie Mae's sister Sarah is also in that ladies' lounge. Sarah said the last thing that she remembers is uh, seeing them helping each other, tying on sashes, and then it went dark. We're talking about an explosion that reverberates through the entire city of Birmingham. Everybody heard it. I was at South Illerton Baptist Church, and our pastor was shifting kind of nervously across the room and said he had received word that 16th Street Baptist Church had been bombed. I was in Sunday school class. The building seemed like it was shaking off its foundation. Fumes, smelling fumes, and getting hit in the head. I couldn't find my younger sister. Only later to find out that she was taken to the hospital. She was only four. And she was cut in the head. Blood dripping down her clothes and down her face. Reverend John Cross comes down after the explosion to go into the hole and hears moaning. My father heard somebody saying, Addie, Addie, and he realized that Sarah was calling her sister's name because that's the last voice that she heard before the explosion occurred. They find the bodies and they're almost literally stacked on top of each other. He said they looked like they had been blown together. It devastated me. It was just so painful to know that these girls were killed at church. They had not done anything to deserve something like that. That was enough to pull people off the fence. Kids are supposed to be safe at church. This is not supposed to happen in America. We're above this kind of thing. And so this was the catalyst to get some things moving.